Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a horror thriller film, Venetia Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The film opens with two American tourist couples in Venice. They enter an alley with a mural that translates to cruise ships out. A door suddenly opens and a man in a Jester costume, nicknamed Jester, comes out. The couple asks for Jester to take a picture for them, but before he captures the image, he bashes the young man with his camera. A crowd arrives with their camera phones, and Jester reveals to the crowd that it is only a fictional play. The crowd congratulates him as he pulls the couple inside a door. After that, a group of five Spanish tourists arrive at the port on a cruise ship, hoping to have a fun time and party. One of their members, Jose, realizes that he has lost his passport. As they are leaving the port, a mob of protesters is having a protest at the exit door. The protesters are shouting, cruise ships out, and it's all your fault, tourists. The following moment, the group rents a Venice water taxi captained by Giacomo, but as they are getting on board, Jose falls and soaks in the water, dropping his mobile phone. Right before they leave, Jester gets on board. During their boat trip, Susanna pulls out a film camera and proceeds to film. While the group makes themselves comfortable in the cabin, Jester suddenly barges in. He offers and gives them tickets to an opera called Rigolto. He then describes and acts out the play, which starts to make the group nervous and uncomfortable. The captain then forces the man to leave. As they arrive, the gang realizes that everyone is in masks and costumes, preparing for the mass parade. They find their way to the hotel and check in. Since Jose has lost his passport and mobile phone, he worries he will be unable to be tracked and found, in case he gets lost. They enter their rooms and find their costumes prepared for the masquerade party. Meanwhile, in an alley, a man finds a door full of masks, and as he is looking at the masks, Jester stabs him and pulls him inside the door. Back at the hotel, the group comes down in their costumes to have their dinner reservation. While eating, a man in Play Doctor costume, nicknamed Play Doctor, approaches them and invites them to a private after-party that requires certain discretion. Issa, the sister of Jose, feels uncomfortable accepting an invitation from a stranger, so they all refuse. The group then heads to a bar for a few drinks. The news report states that the influx of tourists over the past five years endangers the city caused by the cruise ships. This causes the customers and the bartender inside the bar to buy them because they are tourists. While Jose is having a cigarette break outside, he notices that Plague Doctor passes by and comes back inside to inform them. The group rushes to follow him and forgets to pay the bartender for the drinks. They follow Plague Doctor in a dark alley to a door. As they knock, a man in a skull mask comes out to ask for a password. Jose guesses Rigolto and the man welcomes them inside. Inside, they enter a hallway that leads to an underground club, and they proceed to party. While dancing, a bartender offers them a drink called Theriaca, which they accept, not knowing that it is laced with drugs. The substance makes them drunker as they party harder. While dancing, one member of the group, Aransa, notices that Jose is leaving with Plague Doctor. The next morning, the group wakes up with a heavy hangover, and they find that Jose didn't return to the hotel with them last night. While having brunch, Susanna assures them he will return midday, heavily drunk from last night. They then proceed to the hotel lobby and ask the receptionist if he checked in last night. The receptionist looks in the system and finds that only four of them are registered because Jose lost his passport. Shortly after, the police arrive to have an investigation regarding the whereabouts of Jose. Aranza reports that Jose is last seen leaving the club with the man in a plague doctor costume. The police then receive a call and ask to leave for the upcoming summit. The four of them browse through their mobile phones to search for photos of their friend, but finds nothing. Susanna then realizes that they have the film camera, but they need to find a store that still develops old films. They go through three different shops, but the three of them will not develop the film because it is old and out of date. Aranza's boyfriend is tired and bored of running around finding Jose, so he decides that they should go to a bar to get a few drinks. In the same bar from last night, they find that the police detective is there, and the bartender reports them for not paying last night. As they are paying for the damages, a customer warns the tourist group that the worst is yet to come, and it seems like the locals do not appreciate tourists in their area. They ask the police to accompany them to the door of the alley and prove that their friend is being abducted by Plague Doctor. When they finally reach the door, it opens and an old lady greets them. The police then ask if they can search the premises, but now the inside is an old normal house with no passageway down the club. Outside, the police explain to them that there can't be a stairway down to a club because of the waters beneath. But Issa wants to go to the airport and report the incident of her missing brother to the consulate because the police won't help them. Aransa and her boyfriend decide to stay while Giacomo accompanies Issa and Susanna to the airport. 
Back in the alley at the door with the many masks, Jester almost stabs a guy, but suddenly gets pulled by his girlfriend. At the airport, the consulate explains to Dissa that they can only expedite passports and control the legitimacy of judicial procedures. Aransa and her boyfriend find the last film store, and luckily, the store is still developing the film. But it will have to wait until tomorrow. As the couple heads back to the hotel, Jester follows them. He boards in the outside deck, attacks the couple, and kills the boyfriend, beheading him and throwing his body aboard the canal. Nobody inside the cabin notices the attack, and Aransa runs for her shitty life by jumping out of the deck and landing back in the alleys. Meanwhile, Susanna and the two return to the hotel, and Issa receives a call from her boyfriend, who tells her that he rather spends his time with her in Venice. Issa makes up stories to prevent her boyfriend from coming, but he books the flight anyway. Meanwhile, as Aransa is making her escape, she winds up in the middle of a street and gets cornered by Play Doctor, along with Jester. Right before they abduct her, she manages to send her tracking location to Issa. Jester almost stabs Aransa, but Play Doctor gets to her first and bashes her head with his stick. Play Doctor then orders Jester to carry the unconscious Aransa. Shortly after, Susanna and the two arrive at the location by tracking the signal, but they are too late as Aransa is nowhere to be found. At a hiding place, Plague Doctor beats up Jester and tells him that he only gave Jester a chance out of respect for their father, as they are revealed to be brothers. Plague Doctor's girlfriend tells him that the only way for people to listen to them is through fear. She reveals that after their plan of killing, the tourists will be frightened and will not dare to come back to their town. Jester then escapes, but the couple knows where he is going and follows him. Chikomo asks Issa and Susanna for clues on where they can start in finding their friends. They tell him that when they were partying at the club last night, they were served Thiriaka beverages. Chikomo believes that Thiriaka is no ordinary alcohol because people used to believe it is magical and laced with 70 different drugs. The three head to a souvenir shop that used to make Thiriakas. They then proceed to the shop owner's office and find him watching the news about the protesters stopping the summit. Chikomo asks about the Thiriaka, and the shop owner replies that it is impossible to make Thiriaka nowadays because it includes a unicorn horn. Plague Doctor and his partner arrive at their base of operations, where they hold Jose captive and imprison Aransa with him. As the two reunite in a small hole between their cells, Jose breaks down in tears and accuses everyone of being responsible for what is happening to them. In the morning, upon returning to the hotel, Susanna and the two discover that the mutilated body of Aransa's boyfriend is being recovered in the dock. Having identified his body because of his tattoo, the two girls are shocked and traumatized. Giacomo notices Jester among the onlookers and pursues him. Jester kidnaps a tourist as Giacomo approaches and encourages everyone to relax since it is only street play. Jester slices the tourist's throat as the audience draws near. He then makes his escape from the mob to the cheers and applause of the audience. In the coffee shop, the police investigate the murder of Arantz's boyfriend and suggest that they should inform his family. Susanna rejects this and instead suggests that she and Issa should leave. Refusing to leave his brother behind, Issa asks the policeman about a square target-like symbol that she's seen on the lintel of the black door and in the souvenir store. The policeman explains that it is an ancient symbol used for secret societies and has been seen recently in graffiti and murals. Giacomo notices that a man outside the coffee shop is spying on them and chases him outside in the street. He then admits that he recognizes the two girls, Issa and Susanna, from the film camera that Aransa and her boyfriend asked him to develop the night before. While watching the recorded film, Jester costume is unmasked and the policeman immediately captures his facial image. Meanwhile, in the base of operations, Plate Doctor leads a group of Venetian hackers to plan for the attack and prepares for the live stream. Back in the port, a protest is happening as a cruise ship is arriving in the port, carrying tourists. A protester asks Giacomo why he does not join them and calls him a traitor. Giacomo responds that the protest is a farce and that having tourists provides their livelihood. Later on, Issa's boyfriend arrives in Venice. At the hotel, Issa picks a pamphlet of a stage play in an old theater. She then grabs the ticket to the Rigolta play and asks the receptionist if the play exists. The receptionist doubts it is real because it takes place in an old theater. On the other hand, plague doctors watch old news of last year's protest tragedy where a man died in an accident. Watching the news again frustrates him, but his partner assures him that it should motivate him and tells him that his late father would be proud of him. Susanna and the two arrive at a door with the same square target-like symbol and enter to find the old theater place. The old theater is in ruin and it slowly submerges in the water as the years go by. Inside, they find bloody cameras and masks. Issa realizes that Jester has been robbing and killing tourists for years. While searching, a floor opens and Giacomo falls into the water beneath the theater. 
Susanna calls the police to inform them of their location as Issa tries to help Giacomo to recover. Issa's boyfriend reaches the hotel and finds that Issa and Susanna already left. Then the receptionist gives him a map to the old theater for him to follow. As he arrives, he then proceeds to the back door which is left open and decides to go in the hallway. There he finds piles of dead bodies stacked on top of each other. While Susanna searches for something to help Giacomo recover back up, she sees that Jester is climbing at the top of the theater ceiling and chases him. They wrestle their muscles on the ceiling and Jester overpowers Susanna. He stabs Susanna with a grappling hook in both her arms and back, then pushes her smelly ass off the rails, hanging Susanna to death. While Jester plays with Susanna's body like a puppet, Issa and Giacomo chase him to the rooftop with the police arriving at the scene. Jester is cornered by the police on the other side, and he tries to push Issa off the roof. The police then shoot him, which makes Jester fall onto the canal, ending his cosplay life. Giacomo tries to hug Issa using his muscles, but Issa's boyfriend catches them. After the incident in the old theater, the boyfriend asks Issa to come home with him, but she refuses to go as her brother is still missing, and then leaves him. The next morning while Issa is having coffee, a man in a play Dr. Mask enters the coffee shop and Issa suddenly freaks out, causing the people around to look at her awkwardly. Meanwhile, Giacomo and an officer discover that Plague Doctor is a mentally ill patient and is the twin brother of Jester. Giacomo recognizes that Jester works as a former security guard in an old lot of Poglia. The police narrow down that it will be the perfect hiding place for a secret society and plans an operation to rescue the two missing tourists. Upon arriving at the island, the police discover that the walkway is made up of bodies piled up on top of each other for centuries because of the plague. Inside they find a video recording, and the officer plays it, while the rest of the search party looks for the hostages. Inside the cells, they find the hostages alive, and Issa is reunited with her brother Jose and their friend Aranza. In the recording, Plague Doctor is revealed to be a native Venetian man, and he explains that their culture is accustomed to being surrounded by the extraordinary. This custom caused many tourists to plague their city like rats, carried around by cruise ships. So to generate real fear, they kidnap tourists at random to show the world that Venice is not safe for tourists anymore and the tourists should stay away. Before Plague Doctor ends the video, he and his partner both kill themselves in suicide to send the message saying, life doesn't always turn out to be the way one wishes. The following day, Issa, Jose, and Aranza are escorted back to the airport. The film ends as the video recording goes viral all over the world. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.